I am a bit behind with my journaling and sorry about the printer noise I am working on sticker orders like usual and yeah I have about like an hour to just kind of sit down and journal and I figure I would do a few spreads with you today um, just maybe three because I have these printed already and I use the HP HP Panorama to print these off. I'm still honestly playing around with it. Uh, there's one thing about it that's bothering me. Um, and yeah, so that's why I haven't done my video yet because I haven't figured that one thing out. But we're getting there. We're getting there. I, I know I keep saying it, but I promise you my video about the HP Panorama is coming. It's just, yeah, there's one thing I need to figure out first. Okay. Anyways, I printed it off like these and I'm gonna keep them as little cute strips um, I, I have never done this before you know I always cut them into little photos like that um, so this is gonna be different and also I actually did I think did I do these off camera I feel like I did I don't know I don't remember what I did with you guys but I think I know for sure I did this off of camera and this so this is valentine's day and i have this strip and then i have this cute little logo thing there i think i'm actually gonna put it here and in here i think i'm gonna do that like that and then this is the strip for this side and i'm gonna do it like here in the bottom or something and then i'm gonna put stickers up top i think that's what i'm gonna do so yeah, just cute little strips. And I'm going to put this like right at the corner of this. I think that would look really cool. Here. Okay. There we go. That's better. Right at the edge. That's better. Okay, and then I want to put this here.
is what the spread looks like. Like always, I just feel like it looks much better after all the writing is done because earlier I was like, I probably should add more stickers, maybe. But I'm glad, you know, I left it and just, you know, now it looks much fuller with all the writing. So that's that spread. Let's go into the next. Okay, so I have here some La Dolce Vita print-ons because I actually didn't take any photos for Saturday, nor did we do anything Saturday. It was one of those days that I have been wanting for a long time where we just stay at home and do absolutely nothing. It finally happened, guys. We didn't do anything on Saturday and it felt great to just be home. So anyways, this was Friday, which was actually pretty busy. It was a busy, busy day on Friday. And it looks like I'm gonna put this over here, I think. So Friday was pretty much a Liam day. <laughs> he had no school Thursday and Friday. And on Thursday, we didn't do much because I was so busy with um, shop stuff. So we stayed home. And so I was like, okay, for Friday, we had a few things that we had to do around town anyways. So we did that. And then, um, what else did we do? So we did all the errands and then we did shopping and, you know, just all the fun stuff. I asked Liam, like, what do you want to do? Like, do you want to go to this place? Do you want to go to this one? And yeah, so we actually went on a little lunch date and then we had ice cream before going home. Like, he loved it. <laughs> He definitely was living his best life. So that was so fun to just like hang out with him. Um, that's what we did Friday. And then Saturday, yeah, we did absolutely nothing. We all stayed home. And we, like the boys did their thing, you know. And I did my thing. Um, all I did was really journaled. And, oh, let me show you what I did. I cut up a ton of PET tapes that I had laying around and I filled this book and also like transferred stickers from sticker sheets because I'm like, I just want to fill this. This is a little sticker notebook um, from La Dolce Vita that I've had and I was like, let me just fill it. So I took stickers and <laughs> you know, like these were like individual stickers. So that was a pain. These were in a sheet, and I just literally I filled this, and I cut up some PET tapes as well. Yeah, I did a lot of cutting and sticking on Saturday. But, like, look at this, though. Doesn't it look glorious? I'm so excited. So, I mainly did this for travel. So, I'm saving this. I'm not going to use anything in here um, because I want to have it for when we travel later this year so that's all set up i'm excited about it anyways yeah so saturday i don't have any photos i'm just gonna do little blurbs of what we did though like i don't know <sighs>
So this is what the spreads looks like. Kept it pretty simple for a Saturday, but I love it. I think that turned out pretty good. I kind of tried to do some fun stuff or lettering up there, but you know, I'm not the best. So that's just what that looks like. And we're just going to leave it at that. But I'm pretty happy with this spread. These two spreads are fun. And I just wanted to also update you guys like on the chunkiness of my, what's it called, of my journal. So hold on a second, let me. This is what it's looking like. Like, that's not bad at all. What is happening? Oh my gosh, right? Doesn't, doesn't that look great? Let me go grab my 2023. All right, so this is my 2023. This is how chunky just the avec. This is the first half of the year, okay? So let's look. This right here. I'm just gonna do January through um, February, okay? Like, do you see this? How am I going to do this? I guess I can do it this way. Oh my gosh. Do you see? Do you, do you see what I'm saying? This is insane. Like this is, this also feels thicker. And I really do think it is because of the photos. Um, so this is the HP Sprocket that I, you know, I've been using it for years and I love it. But as I mentioned, the photos from the HP Sprocket compared to the HP Panorama, the Panorama is way thinner and I'm obsessed because I really do think it's helping with the chunkiness like this looks crazy to me so anyways yeah this is just you know my 2023 i mean this isn't bad to be honest i you know it's not i i've come to embrace the chunkiness but like looking at this i'm like oh my gosh am i even using it it's just so crazy to me it's so crazy to me which but you know i'm, I'm happy with it really like this is great but yeah, um, I think there's only a few spreads in here that I did use the HP Sprocket. Did I use it in this one? I think I used it here. But then here I used the Panorama. So I used the HP Sprocket one time. Two times. That's it. And everything else, I've been using the Panorama. And oh my gosh, I love how not super chunky everything is getting i'm excited Right, I still have a few more minutes, or actually have like 15 minutes, so it's fine. I can, I can do this. I can finish these spreads, just two more. So I just printed off, as you saw, two more strips using the panorama. I should, actually, this is Sunday right here that I'm cutting right now. And I'm going to keep it as is. Because it looks like a, a film strip, right? It's so cute. So these pamphlets that I use to make my collages and such, I use Unfold. Everything will be in the description box down below regarding everything that I use. So that's that one. And then this 
is actually, I'm going to cut it. It's Monday and Tuesday for this one. And I have it so this side is Monday and then this side is Tuesday. So let's do that. So that kind of saved me some paper there, right? You see, it's so cute, like cute little photo strips that looks like film. Hopefully I can cut this kind of right in the middle in there. It's gonna be kind of difficult, but we can do it, I'm sure. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and get decorating with this one. the spread really love it very nice and simple i think so let's go ahead and do a flip so again i did these off camera but i thought i would share it with you anyways these are washi um pet tape no washi it's like a pet tape but with the washi material and it was given to me by my friend marilyn and yeah i don't really know where she got it from but yeah, I just thought it was so cute. And that's just that one. And then over here I used... This I got from, I believe... Pinky Elephant? I will link this one below because I purchased this one. And it's actually this strip right here that I got recently. And it's super cute. It has like woodland animals and such. So I used that on this one again i was cutting up a lot of pet tapes so i was like "Ooh, let me use some okay and this is what we just did today the stickers i use on this is from my shop it is the tender touch collection journaling stickers and by the way the ink that i use is sailor ink studio 273 and I used my Palette Decimo with a fine nib, which I don't know why I like this. I wrote fine, but then sometimes I just, I hold the pen weird and it hurts my hand. I don't know. I'm still getting used to it. It's just I've been using my Platinums, you guys, and I'm so, so, so used to that, that everything else feels funny. So anyways, that's that spread and then this spread. Again, um, stickers from my shop and then all of the print-ons are from La Dolce Vita. I will link it below. And again, stickers are from my shop. So I just did a little thing there as a Sunday. I wish I would have used something with more flex, but that's fine. That's just with my Twisby extra fine. So there you have it. That is it for this journal with me. I hope you enjoyed doing a few spreads with me today 
Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Like usual, I will list and link everything in the description box. And yeah, I'm so excited. I'm kind of caught up, right? Today is the 21st. So yeah, I'm pretty much caught up with my memory heap. That makes me very happy. And oh yeah, by the way, I decided to go on ahead and add all of these cute tabs. So yeah, a full year there now. I just, I really like it. I think it's really cute. I will link it below. It's from Pinky Elephant. That's the shop I ordered it from. But that's it. Um, do, 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 I wanted to share something. Oh, I found these elastic ribbons. I had a bunch of them back when I had the Happy Planner. And I would make little elastics to go around my big Happy Planner to keep it closed. And I decided that I didn't like the page keeper on this cover because it just like bulges it out and this is like leather so it just adds like this weird bump, like bump almost on the back and I didn't like it so I took it off and I decided I'm just gonna use an elastic so I just yeah I found some of my elastic ribbons and I just sewed it together right there and this is how it looks oh if I can just do it that would be great and I love this ribbon because it's kind of has this sparkle to it and it just, I just feel like it matches. So yeah, I just thought I would share that with you. Just a little thing that I DIY this weekend too to help keep my little memory keeper planner closed. And ah, oh, I love, I love this duo. I think it's so pretty. So, okay. Um, I did also get questions. This is from Wonderlust by TSL. It is not available anymore. I got this like two years ago. They don't have it available anymore, but they are trying to restock it. So yeah, I will link it below. Definitely, you know, follow them on Instagram and all of that. So you're up to date with their releases because again, this is like a limited edition from two years ago, but they're trying to restock it. So definitely follow them on Instagram to be notified. But yeah, I keep getting questions about that. Um, but anyways, okay, that is it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed journaling with me today. And I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!